guys i am back to show you all how i do a booyah in my kitchen i do not know how you call it in your country but in my country we call it booyah but it's gonna be without dumpling yes you can do a booyah without dumpling with what you have in your kitchen guys please like and subscribe to my channel so i can bring more video to y'all this is the peas. I put it to boil already. I'm going to do it with three different kinds of peas. Black eyed peas, lentils, and red beans. I wash it, clean it, and I put it to boil already. And this is the pigtail. I cut it already in small pieces. I put it to boil because it's, hard, it's a hard meat and then it has a lot of salt. So you have to boil it like three or four times for the salt to come out in it. Yes, guys, you can cook a meal in your kitchen with what you have. Guys, I am back to show you all how I finish do the bouillon with pigtail and without dumpling. Yes, you can do a bouillon without dumpling. Yes, you can do it. With the things you have in your kitchen and what you have. Okay. The peas, I put the peas to boil. I'm using three different kind of peas. Like I said in the first part of the video. Red beans, lentils, black eyed peas. That's how I feel to do it. This is the seasoning and the vegetable I'm gonna use this morning. A lot, a lot, a lot of vegetable. And yellow yam. That's all I'm gonna be inside of it. I'm gonna use one potato. You can put a potato in it. If you have babies, you can, the yam gonna be too hard for the baby, for the small kids. So you can give them the potato. I have sweet pepper yellow and green sweet pepper red whatever sweet pepper you have i'm gonna use a lot of broccoli in that bouillon i do not know how you call it in your country but in my country we call it bouillon i have spinach i have carrot and i have cabbage I have celery and garlic and I'm gonna use some peas the green peas so this is what I'm gonna use in it now since the peas are already cook this is my pigtail you can do it with whatever meat you have saltfish, chicken, turkey, whatever you want to put inside of meat, meat, whatever meat. Yes, you can do it with it. Now, I boil a pigtail because it's very salty. Now, I'm going to clean it because it has a lot of fat. Some people like the fat, some don't like the fat. So, I'm going to clean it to make sure that I take out all the fat. Yes, people, you can do a bouillon without dumpling. Some people love dumpling inside of it. I eat dumpling in it, but for some reason today, for some reason today, I decide not to put the dumpling inside of it. Yes, you can do it, people. With any food you have, at home yes you can do it i take not all the fat all 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 the fat some people will say don't take it out but with me i'm gonna take out the fat okay this is the the pigtail whatever you call it in your in your country this is it so now you're gonna pour it in the peas and, and you're gonna stay it. 
This is the way that I do it in my kitchen. Now, you're going to put the carrot, everything cut and wash already. You're going to put the carrot. You're going to put your carrot. Then you're going to put your cabbage. Sweet pepper. Your onion. Your celery, your peas, green peas, your spinach. You're going to put all these things together. The garlic wash already. You're going to grit your garlic. Now, you have to be careful because remember, the pigtail, it's a salty meat. So you have to be careful the amount of seasoning you're going to use in your bouillon. And you're going to stir everything together. You're going to stay everything together. Now I'm not going to cover it because I don't want it to boil and come up and dirty the stove. So I'm going to leave it right there. I did not put the Irish potato on the broccoli because these two things cook very fast. Now, I'm going to show you how... I'm gonna wash dishes. I hate dishes in my way. Your sink is clean, so you can put your provision inside of it. So I'm gonna show you how. I peel my yellow yam. This is the yellow yam. I'm going to put it in the sink. Yes, my sink is clean. You put whatever food you want to put inside of it. Whatever ground provision you want to put inside of it. Yes, you can put it inside of it. But I choose to do it with yellow yam to do. How y'all doing my people? How are y'all doing today? I'm just showing y'all how I cook in my kitchen. At least this video can help someone. Can give somebody idea how to cook a bouillon without dumpling. You can use any food you have at home to do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, my people. I'm just showing you all my way. I am just showing you all my way. You can cook with anything you have at home. Yes, you can. This is how I do it, so I know all different country call it different name, but that is how I know it back home. So I'm gonna garbage this. Now I'm gonna put some warm water. I'm gonna put some warm water. And I'm gonna wash the yellow yam. I'm gonna cut it to the size that I want to put it in the pot.
This is how the yellow yam look when you peel it. So I'm gonna cut it to the size that I want. Guys, I am back to show you all the finish touch of the bouillon. Now I'm gonna put the broccoli and the potato. And now you're gonna go with a little bit of seasoning. Whatever seasoning you have in your kitchen, you're gonna go with it. But do not use a lot of seasoning because all these seasonings have a lot of salt. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of all-purpose seasoning if you have a little bit of ginger powder if you have you do with what you have a little bit of cayenne pepper a little bit of black pepper bohayo that's the thing I use in my kitchen and a little bit of turmeric and you're gonna mix everything together make sure you mix everything together so that all the seasoning you put will go in the food make sure you mix everything together When you're done, you're going to put a little bit of water. You can taste it anyhow you feel like because it's yours. You can take a spoon or you can do it with your hand. Now, it's missing a little bit of salt. So you're gonna go with a little bit of salt, not too much. Little. And your bouillon, this is the finished look of the bouillon. Pigtail bouillon without dumpling.